We're back with more random battles to the top, we're 22-45. And we have a good lead matchup, Skarmory into Scrafty. We can Stealth Rock, we're not even... It's not even that urgent that we have to deal with Scrafty. Because with, with the high defense, we don't take a lot of damage. Electivire into Skarmory, now this is annoying. Because to beat Electric, we have Grass. But Electivire gets Flamethrower and Ice Punch, which makes it tricky. They could also Volt Switch. Indeedy is outsped. My entire team is outsped by Electivire and it beats everything. So I do have to start thinking about if it comes down to it, I might have to terrestrialize early and I have to be aware that my team is really, really slow. It's not going to be able to handle fast Pokemon at all. So I have to keep that in mind when I play. We'll go Vile Plume for now. They can Flamethrower. They do. Yeah, this is the problem. There's no switch in. I can go... I can try and switch around a bunch, but that doesn't help me. I could go Dugong, okay? Go Dugong here. And I'll, I have to Terrestrialize. Because I'm just too weak to Electivire. Okay, now we can Flip Turn out. Okay, that worked out. Flip Turn into Vile Plume. Do I like Vile Plume? It's Leftovers, Scrafty. I wanted to heal... Yeah, I can go Vile Plume here. They're going to try and knock off. I can Strength Sap. We'll get the Strength Sap off. At least we managed a big threat. Well, we did have to give up Terra, but we have the advantage with Stealth Rock, and we have weakened one Pokemon. This is very sketchy for me, but I don't see another way to do it because we are a really slow team. We had no way to beat Electivire. We Strength Sap, they knock off. Their bulk up drain punch knock off rest. And I believe we beat that 1v1. With Leech here. No, they're, they're life orb. They're life orb. Never mind. Yeah, so we're, we're always winning. We can Leech now. Now, we have a pretty average team. Skarmory's good. Dugong's okay. Didi's okay. Manaphy's okay. Vileplume's okay. Tropius is really good. That's kind of where we're at right now. No incredibly dominating Pokemon, no Shell Smash Pokemon, nothing like that, but it's alright. They go to Diancie, Leftovers. Now, I'm gonna- I should Leech again. I really think I should Leech again. I don't think they stay in on Vileplume. We have a major type advantage, we outspeed. So I'm gonna Leech again. I think they're trying to bait Giga Drain. Or they could just be going for Stealth Rock. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to Giga Drain. Even if they're trying to bait it, I'm fine with that. They go to Scrafty. I mean, I really don't mind at all. They're not going to do a lot of damage to me. It could be that they're completely walled by Vileplume. I'm getting the feeling that they are completely walled by Vileplume. Because this Diancy Scrafty maneuver is not going to cut it when you're trying to beat Vileplume. Okay. Yeah, they're probably getting Stealth Rock up. No. Okay. They go to Tian Pao. I don't have a way to switch into the Dark type. So, you know, for example, Terra Dark Throat Chop would do a lot of damage to me. I don't know if they're going to Terra Dark already, but... So a regular... I'm just going to go Manaphy on, hopefully, Icicle Crash. That's good. Now... I just, they're banded by the looks of it. I'm just going to Hydro for damage. Probably going to sacrifice Electivire or Scrafty. Yeah. Okay. We'll go for it again. We outspeed anyway. There we go. And the Stealth Rock is adding up on the Xian Pao. Dugong is always a counter, right? They can knock off, they can Ice Punch maybe, but I'm going to go Dugong. There we go. Flip turn, and we'll go to Skarmory, I think. They Flamethrower, that's not doing anything. We want to position, I want to position Manaphy in, because I really want to see how they respond to Manaphy. Because they can't go to Chan Pao, it means they'll reveal one more Pokemon. We keep sturdy Skarmory intact. And I think we're overcoming the bad matchup, and they have Espathra. You have to be kidding me. Okay. How do we beat Espathra now? I mean... 
if it's Calm Mind, we lose. There's not, there's no doubt about it. I think we have to go to AV Dugong, but yep, yeah, we, it's all, all auto losing here. We have no way to beat that. Okay, maybe I can try. I tried Triple Axel. They protect too. Yeah, knockoff is not great because of uh, substitute and uh, Terra Fairy. Come on, one, two. Ah, uh, we needed three. We needed three. I mean, I don't think they Terra Fairy now. They could though. They could. They really could Terra Fairy. So ideally, I get it down and I revenge with Skarmory. But nah, the the, the real issue is going to be Terra Fairy. I cannot risk Terra Fairy right now. I can't risk Terra Fairy and substitute. I have to triple axel. They keep gaining a lot with protect, but I think the risk of knocking off into fairy and substitute is too much maybe. I suppose it's not that bad because I could triple axel the next turn. I, I think this is bad. If we had a triple hit on the first time around, it could have been okay, but this is bad. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna knock off. They don't know I have it. It's not guaranteed, I don't think. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. Okay? Okay, and we're safe. Because Skarmory can now revenge kill. Skarmory can now revenge kill the Espatra. Okay, we got out. This was really bad for us. Oh, but they could have Roost. If they don't have Substitute, they have Roost. No, they have Protect. They have Protect. I'm just really dumb. I forgot that they had Protect. Okay. Again, we want to position Manaphy into power, which is Chan Pao, and hopefully revealing the last Pokemon. Yep, that's exactly what we wanted. We'll live any hit. There we go. I definitely choked, because once they revealed Protect, they couldn't have Substitute. That was my mistake there. Okay, and this is comfortable. We don't want to trigger Weakness Policy. That's like a complete choke. Don't do that. But otherwise, we can attack through it. Yep. Vile Plume can probably live a hit. I hope. Terra Ground. Alright, GG. We move on to 2270. I think I overreacted and I played around things I didn't need to play around. So not a very, you know, great game, but I think we overcame a bad matchup. Alright, we get Bexcalibur into Iron Crown. Not great, because we actually we don't necessarily faint, but it's annoying. Volcanion is a good switch in though. If they volt, they volt. They calm mine, that's good. Now, worst case scenario, we do outspeed with Wugtrio, so I'm gonna flamethrower. They can't really take on Volcanion 1v1, so I'm gonna flamethrower for damage. I, if I really get cheeky, I can go Chan Pao on Psyshock, but maybe not yet, anyway. Flamethrower, Psy Psyshock, Flamethrower, Hard Chi and Pow on Psyshock, and then Crunch is going to be my play. And I'm a little... Oh, they Terra Fighting. Okay. That's a very big... Com uh, that's a committal decision, but I don't even know if it's correct, because now you lose to Zacian and Chi and Pao and all of those Pokemon. Do I go Hard Zacian and keep Volcanion alive? I do. Yep, there we go. That worked out perfectly. We get our uh, Zacian into Chan Pao. We force him to switch. They gave up their Terra early, and that's going to be very punishing for them. They have to get their... They can get Stealth Rock up now. I'm going to go back Scalibur, and I'm going to try and really attack. Banded Icicle Crash. And they've already given up the Terra. Flinch. Come on. Okay, not my best moment. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Well, at least I go Volcani on here. We, we gave up a Pokemon. A couple episodes ago, I said that Terrestrialization is worth one Pokemon. I'm going to revise that. I think Terrestrialization is worth like 1.5 to 2 Pokemon even. So using it well is really valuable and using it poorly is really bad. Okay. 
No Baron, that's fine. Is that Banded? Let's go to Zacian now. Was that Banded? I think that was. Okay, Swords Dance. And they have Kill- Oh no, they have one of the best Pokemon in the game. My Zacian can't handle Kill a Watchful here. But I do have Rhydon, but it is annoying to have to switch and then come back. And my Chien- Oh, e Kill a Watchful even beats Chien Pao. What I could do is try and trade Zacian to at least get damage on Kill a Watchful. And then back Chien Pao to win. Because it has Sacred Sword for Samurott. With Swords Dance, it would be able to beat Iron Crown. Maybe even Wug Trio could do well if I get these Pokemon weakened. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to trade. No, actually, I'm not going to trade. I'm going to go right on. Okay. Now the question is, do I Earthquake? Or... What do I do? I have a lot of options. I'm going to Earthquake. Yeah. Hopefully we hit Samurott for the Oko. I think Iron Crown is more realistic. But we want damage on Iron Crown for Chien Pao. Okay, they're going to give up Samurott. That's good. Crit didn't matter. That's really good to give up Samurott here. Now we can go back to Zacian, maybe? They're going to go for Tachyon Cutter into Rhydon. And I don't match up too well into that. It's tricky. All the hazards are going to cause major problems long term. What if I go Wugtrio on Tachyon Cutter? That would be an aggressive play. It's, is it even worth it? Hmm. I think it is. Okay. No damage taken. Do I... Terra Water Liquidation doesn't KO, so I'll just take a regular Liquidation on it. Maybe, you know, actually this might have not have been the correct play. What I need is, is it, is, do I have time to back out? Going to White Trio initially was bad, but do I have time to correct the mistake? Because long term, I need my Terra Water Liquidation to Oko kill a Watchful. It's too fast of a Pokemon. They kind of have to uh, Psy Shock here. Kind of. Not guaranteed, but they kind of do. Can I go Zacian on the Psy Shock? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and correct a mistake here. I'm going to go to Zacian on the Iron Crown. They, they, it was Focus Blast. I mean, it is what it is. I, didn't, I got lucky to dodge that. But they also went for it. Okay, 55. Now, Liquidation's a Oko, and we have Terra Water, they have an Iron Leaves, okay. That means a Grass-type attack's coming in. 25, 18, do I live? 42.5. I, I don't know the math on that, to be honest. Tw no, I live, I live. 12, yeah, I live, I live. Okay, let's go. Let's go to... Right on. We have to sacrifice right on. Okay, we go to Chien Pao. We. They're banded. I we icicle crash, or now nah, we do we do always icicle crash. Okay, now if they go to Iron Crown, do I Terra fighting? They go to kill a watch roll. Um, I trade. I trade with you. I trade Chien Pao for Kilowattrel. Maybe I don't. Okay. I really wanted to trade that. Lucario? Oh, I faint to Lucario priority. Do I... No, I, I lose. If they have priority, I lose the game. But if they don't have priority... Nah, they have priority. They have... Uh, Oh, do I Aqua? No, no. They have Vacuum Wave. 49% of the time, they have Vacuum Wave. No? Okay. Oh, can Wugtrio do it? Can Wugtrio do it? This is an Oko. This is an Oko on Kilowattrel. Okay. Iron Crown. Oh, Wugtrio clutches. I didn't think Wugtrio would be that good. Fast and strong. That was a very clutch game from Wugtrio. 2292. We did get a Focus Blast dodge. But trying to maneuver around Kilowattrel because Zacian and Chien Pao couldn't, be couldn't beat Kilowattrel, that was... That's crazy.
but it worked out in the end. Arbaliva into Dusknor, not terrible. We have Palafin. We want to prioritize getting that in the game so that it can, uh, you know, activate its ability. Espathra is good, but we don't have the good moveset. Extradil is okay. Alcremie is good. Shiftry is okay. We'll go for damage. Their Willow. I don't really care about that too much. 38. Their leftovers, they don't do any damage to me. They have Arceus Bug. Okay. Hmm. Well, why is Arceus Bug actually really threatening to me? Because I have two Grass type Pokemon. I go Palafin. They Judgment, unfortunate. I'm going to go Alcremi. And I. I hope, I'm, I'm not thinking, I'm hoping that Alcremie beats Arceus Bug 1v1. Because that is terrible. I have one, two, three Pokemon weak to Bug. One Pokemon weak to Fire, and I guess Palafin is okay, but... We're going to have to play carefully. They go to Leaf Any. Alluring Voice in ca case they have Swords Dance. They Leaf Blade. That did a lot of damage. How strong is that? I risk Crit too. Okay, good. That worked out. I don't have Rapid Spin, and I have an entire team. Almost an entire team. But I have Defog. So I actually have Heavy Duty Boots Defog. This is not a bad matchup. Heavy Duty Boots Defog is definitely fine into Sticky Web. I'm thinking Alcremie is going to be how I win. They go to Dusknor. They don't... That doesn't do... I'm going to use this as an opportunity to Defog. There we go. And they punished it, but I have Willow. I do have Willow, so that's kind of okay. Let's Leaf Storm, and if they're Chesto, that's good. Either way, it's always good. They rest, and now we do it again. They probably switch to maybe Arceus Bug. Alright, that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. We'll go to Alcremie. Yeah, this is definitely fine. That's not great, but it's fine. We have to be careful, though. How do we want to play the Dusknor now? My Shiftery is not going to be good long term, because it doesn't do any damage to Arceus Bug. Arbaliva can handle... Dusknor. But the problem with going to it is now I have to be very careful with how I play the Annihilate. Ideally, I want to get Espathre in the game and attacking. That's what I want to do. They Brick Break. That doesn't do anything to me. 52. I'm going to go Hard Shiftry on... Well, I was hoping it would be Annihilate. Go Alcremie, though. It's very much looking like Alcremie is going to be... A winning Pokemon. Alluring voice into Dusknor, Annihilate, one of the two. You know, I think we're we've outplayed kind of not a bad matchup, but a very uncomfortable matchup. They tear a fire immediately. Okay. But that makes them weak to jet punch. Okay, now they know Jet Punch is coming in, and they've already Terra. Ter them tearing early is great. They know Jet Punch is coming in. I'm just going to go for it anyway. They have a Manaphy. I have Arbaliva that faints to Ice Punch. I'm going to go hard as Fathra. And I think Lumina Crash gets through. Oh, that's an Oko. Okay, interesting. Now... Once again, I have an entire team that's not fast. I feel like this has happened several times in a row. I'm going to take my shot here. The Terra Water. Oh, they got it. That was bad. I mean, it, it's an entire team weaker and slower than Manaphy. Maybe if I played my Terra better, but yeah, it's not winning. Uh, in any case, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.